welcome everybody. In our last video, we built this Teams page using Metabox and Oxygen. And in this video, we are going to expand on this a little bit by going over the image advanced field option within Metabox. As I mentioned last time, the image fields are a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna go over that today. So let's jump right in and get started. So I'm going to go over to the back end of my site here within Metabox. I am first going to go to my custom fields, my team member info, and I'm going to add a new field here. And we're just gonna scroll down and search for the image advanced option. And we are going to change the name of this to, um, we'll call it, pets. And you see, just like the other fields, there are some other options here. I am going to change thumbnail to medium, just because that's pretty close to the image size that I have set up already. So I can go ahead and click update now. And I'm going to come over to uh, my custom post type teams. And I'm going to go into each one and quickly add our images in. So now you'll see at the bottom here, I have pets where I can click this add media. And the reason we're choosing this image advanced option comp compared to just the image options um, is because this one allows us to actually either upload or use our media library where the other options um, don't let you do both. So I just wanted to quickly cover that. So I'm just going to choose two items here for each one. Get those added in. Click update. And go back to our next person. We'll do the next two here. Click update. And now my last one. All right, so now that we have those saved, next we're going to jump over to our template. So we'll go back to Oxygen, Templates, and in our last video we made the team archive. And since then I just quickly remade a team member template. So I'm going to jump into that one. And all this one is, is uh, when you go ahead and click um, one of these names, it takes you to the team template just for that person. So it looks pretty similar. But what we're going to do, yeah, it looks like I got an error here. Let's see what happened here. May have just timed out. Yep, looks like that's all that happened. All right, so I'm going to come up here and add a section because what we're going to add is going to be below it. In the section, I'm going to put a heading and we'll call it My Pets. And next, just within the section, I'm going to add a div. And inside that div, I'm going to first um, show you uh, why the image field is a little more tricky. So inside my div, um, first I'm going to go ahead and make that 100% uh, for right now. I'm going to add an image in there. And going to go ahead and click on my data tab here, choosing my meta custom field like we did in our previous video. You'll notice that I do have the option to choose pets here. And if I insert that, you'll notice I get this little broken image. It doesn't actually show an image or um, render it so we can see it. So I'm just going to click Save and go to this page here. And you can see that it's not showing on the front end as well. So I'm going to go back. And that we're going to have to do this a little bit differently. So 
within my structure here, I'm just going to make sure I got my image selected and I'm going to delete that. And in its place, I am going to put a code block. And in this code block, we're going to use uh, some code directly from this Metabox documentation. So in this, on this page, it has a lot of great info. Um, most of it I'm not going to cover right now, but what I'm going to do is just copy this part right here. Take that to my clipboard here and come back over to our template. And on the PHP tab, I'm just going to replace this part here, leaving the open and close PHP script. So now we're just going to paste that code in here. And in this spot right here where it has field ID, we are going to replace that with uh, what we used in our custom field group. So in my case, it was pets. And you do wanna make sure that you put the quotes around it. Otherwise it's not going to work properly. And then I'm gonna come over to thumbnail. And I'm gonna change that to medium just to match what I used within my custom field as well. So now I'll go ahead and hit apply code and you'll see that my images pop up. And you'll see, and I'll close this or collapse the editor, and you'll see that they're stacked on top of each other and showing as an unordered list, which is not exactly how we want it to look. So what I'm gonna do is click on my primary tab here and I have a style output enabled, which is a selector detector. If you're not familiar with what that is or if it's on, go over to Oxygen and Settings. And on the general page here, it'll be Enable Selector Detector and make sure that's checked and click Save. In my case, I already have it on. So what I'm going to do is click Style Output. And you'll see that it sometimes it has multiple fields highlighted and sometimes it'll have only one. In my case, I want to make sure that we have both the code block and the UL both highlighted. So that way it's only, we're only editing settings for the UL that is within this code block. Because if we just um, do the UL, it might change other unordered lists on our site. And that's not what we want. We want to only target this one here. So the first thing I'm going to do is try and get rid of our um, bullet points here. So I'm going to come over to advanced and then uh, CSS. And actually, it looks like it didn't work there. So give me one second. All right. Now I can see I'm on the right. I changed my selector here before it was still on the code block. So now I can click on advanced and you can see this just looks like our normal advanced options. In this case, I want to choose CSS. And in here, we are going to just take our uh, code here, which is list style type none. And as you can see, it, it took away our bullet points there. So I'm just going to hit apply just to make sure that sticks. Next, we are going to go to sizing and spacing. And you'll see that we have a gap here on the left-hand side. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a zero in for our padding. And that makes it go all the way to the left because we're going to add padding to the images themselves. Next, I'm going to go to layout. And I'm going to choose display flex and roll and flex start. And that way, we have a row, and when we get smaller, you can see it still fits. Go to our next size down. And here you can see that I, I have already changed it to columns um, before I had started the video. Um, but in your case, that wouldn't have been set. So you can see it's going off screen here. So I'm just going to stack that vertically. And then you'll see that it is now uh, not going off the side of the screen. So I'll go back to my all devices, go back to all styles here, and that should be everything we need for that. So if we go ahead and click our items here, you'll see that we can choose our style output. And we'll want to unselect the UL 
and now select image. But still keeping the code block selected, we're gonna come over to the advanced sizing and spacing. And in this case, I'm going to add some margin around it. And I'm gonna use M for my sizing. I'm just gonna do one all the way around and you can hit apply all and I'll go all the way around. Now you'll see we have some space between, even when we go to smaller size, they're stacked and have some space. So in this case, I think I am gonna actually take out the uh, spacing here. So I'm gonna change that to zero and zero, just to make sure we don't have that bottom bar uh, to scroll. All right, so we have that and I'm just gonna go back to our all devices here. I'm gonna click save and let's take a look on the front end here. So now you'll see that we have both of our images showing up here just as we want going uh, side by side and so stack vertically. And you'll notice that in this case, they're not clickable, they're just images showing. So what we can do is come back over to our code block and within our PHP tab, what we're going to do is add another uh, piece in here. So I'm gonna do a comma, quotes, link equals with the greater than and true. Go ahead and hit apply code and save. <clears throat> and this is something that I just got from this documentation here. You'll see right on this line is where it tells us how to do that. Make sure it's saved here. Come back to the front end, refresh it. And now you see that it they're showing as a link. And when I do click it, it's going to just take me to the actual link URL of that image. Not It's not light, bot light boxing it right now or anything else, which is fine for this case right now. Just getting started with this. And as, as we go through the series here, I'll work on more of developing and explaining how to do more advanced things as we go. So that's the very basics of how we do this and get our images set up to use within Oxygen. Again, we're using a custom code block to do this instead of um, normally using an image with our dynamic data. Um, using this allows us to actually pull the images from Metabox into our page. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next videos. I'm not sure what my next one's going to be, but hopefully I'll have another one up and ready for you guys in the next day or two. Thanks.